as you can probably tell from the video title, I have received some uh, homebrew beer mail. Uh, in fact, not just one lot, but uh, two lots. So a big shout out and thank you to Finru Homebrew, aka Martin, and also Roy Goddard for sending these, these beers to me. I really do appreciate it. It's been a while since I've had any beer mail from other home brewers, so uh, it's going to be a real treat to try these out. So what I thought I'd do is I'll show you the beers from the two guys and tell you what they are, and then we will crack one of the beers. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go through the recipes then as we do each of the beers, but I'll just, I'll just crack the one in this video and then we'll do subsequent videos for the other beers. So first, um, cab or beer off the rank is this beer from uh, Finn Roo Homebrew, and this is the one I'll be cracking shortly. This is his Tired Bastard Mild, so it's clocking in at 4.2%, so really looking forward to that. I've just brewed my own mild up, so very, very keen to try that. So we'll go into the recipe shortly when we open it up. And then next up, um, so both guys have sent me some recipe notes, so thank you for that. And now a bit of a little bit of a sad story with uh, Roy's beers. So Roy did send me four beers, but unfortunately one of them got broken in transit um, by the courier. Uh, it happens from time to time, so that was that was unfortunate. I will tell you which what the beer was, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to try it. So anyway, thank you for these, Roy. They're nice big 500 ml bottles. So number one, this has come off the keg. This is his old, peculiar, um, all grain beer. So I've had an old peculiar home brew before, not for a long time, and I've also had the commercial version. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. And then next up we have also off the keg from Roy is, um, Gash's Pilsner Unreal. So I b believe this is a, a recipe from Gash Slug or Homebrew Network and another all grain beer. So really looking forward to trying that. Thank you for that, Roy. Now, number three is the sad, the, the dead soldier, I guess you could say. That's uh, Gash's Pilsner Unreal Kiwi Hops. So that would have been very nice to try, but unfortunately I don't have that. And then the fourth beer that uh, Roy sent is, now this one is definitely going to be a nice winter, cold weather winter beer. And I'm looking forward to trying this. I don't think I've ever tried a homebrew version of this beer. It's a Fuller's 1845. Uh, this one's been bottle conditioned. So yeah, really looking forward to that. So thank you guys for both those lots of beer and I'm looking forward to trying them all. And thank you for the recipe notes. So I will quickly pause the video. I'll pop Roy's beers back in the fridge. Okay, so here's the, uh, the tired bastard mild. So this is bottle condition. Nice little hiss there. Not too much, which is good. This sort of style, I don't think you want it too carbonated. the glass here so we should be able to get the whole lot in there just leave the uh, leave the yeast in the bottom Pop some of those bubbles out let's do that over here okay so here it is here the tired bastard looking absolutely stunning the glass a nice what would you call that chestnut is it a chestnut brown? Nice, rich, deep brown. It's definitely got that sort of smack of a English ale sort of look to it. Holding a nice ring on the top, so looking really good. Uh, Martin, I'll call you Martin instead of Finn Roo Home Brew all the way through. So Martin, that's looking really, really good in the glass. So before we dive in, I'll just go through the um, the recipe with you. So uh, it's three and a half kilos of Gladfield Ale Malt, 350 grams of dark crystal, 200 grams of brown malt, 200 grams of roasted wheat, um, SO4 yeast. He did a 80 minute boil. As I said, it's bottle condition and I'm 
from the videos that um, Martin's done, I think it's around seven to eight weeks old, maybe on this more like seven weeks. So looking absolutely fantastic. So cheers guys, Chin, cheers Finn and um, Roy for the beers and we'll, oh, well that smelled really good on the nose. Definitely some, that not a nice, nice subtle roast there. Not super subtle though, it is, it is quite distinct. I was going to say chocolate. Now I know Finn or Martin said he was going to put light chocolate in. Um, he forgot to put it in or left it out on purpose, but I'm, I'm getting hints of chocolate there for some reason. So yeah, mild roast, chocolate, almost got like a smoky edge, a dusty gringo. So yeah, smells a little bit like the dusty gringo from Deep Creek if you've ever tried that. It smells absolutely fantastic. It's definitely dominant on the malt. Now, I'm not sure of the hops. I think they're Fuggles. I either forgot to write them down from his notes or but I'm pretty sure they're fuggles. I'll put it on the screen. So cheers, guys. Let's dive in. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That is a really tasty drop, Martin. All the malt characters and on the aroma coming through beautifully in the flavor uh eve just just more more of them and more intense yeah there's other flavors there there's like a, um sort of toasty sort of malt flavors some like biscuit sort of a quite a dryish sort of back end to it which is really nice It's really nice. Um, 4.2 percent. It's a nice, easy drinker, but it's got tons and tons of uh, malt flavour there. The sort of hint of chocolate I was getting on the nose, I'm not getting in the flavour so much. Oh, nice, um, nice level of bitterness. That nice. I love that that dry back end to it. That's really nice. Uh, it is fairly clear, but hard. I oh, can probably see from the light coming through. It is fairly clear. I love that color. Sort of beer I can imagine sitting in an old English pub on a sort of dreary old day. That that would be the sort of beer I would envision in my mind sitting down with this beer. Um, but yeah, you can, you could definitely drink a few of these if you're, you know, sitting in an English pub somewhere or anywhere, in fact. Uh, carbonation is spot on. There's a little bit of hiss, but the carbonation is really good. In the style, you don't want it overly carbonated. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, just so many malt flavours um, and aromas there. Good mouthfeel as well. I think Martin said it, he thought it was a little bit thin. It, you know, when you swirl it around, it maybe looks a bit thin, but I think that roasted wheat has given it a nice sort of mouthfeel. Oh, that is a cracker. No, that is that is a very good start to the um, to the the beer mail. So what I might do instead of just chugging it all down on camera, I will leave it there. Yeah, nice creamy sort of texture as well. Um, I'll stop there. Enjoy the rest of this. But thank you very much for this, um, Martin. I'll put a link to Martin's channel, Finrew Finrew Home Brew, below. And um, yeah, I will be doing another video over the weekend um, and tasting one of your beers, Roy, and we'll do a separate video for that. So stay tuned for that. Um, until
until next time, enjoy the rest of your day, drink fantastic beers like these, and uh, yeah, catch you next time. Over and out. Cheers, guys.